Welcome into the Ravens Rundown. Today's show is presented by Aura, the all-in-one digital safety company. We'll tell you more about what they do coming up later on in the show. You can start a free 14-day trial now at Aura.com slash chat sports. Tyler Jones here with you with some breaking news to cover straight out of Ravens training camp today. A couple of injury notes that we want to get to. Before we get to that, though, with the injuries going on, we don't want you to be jinxing this team. So smash that like button to show the Ravens some love to keep the, the good mojo going of sorts uh, with this team right now. You, you don't want to look at yourself in the mirror and say, man, I didn't like today's video and all hell broke loose after that point. That would be pretty bad, right? Like today's video to send some good vibes to the Baltimore Ravens so they can stay healthy and stop the bleeding, literally. Let's begin with the news on Vince Beagle. He has tore his Achilles tendon, and his season is officially done. This is the second time this has occurred for Vince Beagle, as he did the same thing in 2020 when he was playing for the Miami Dolphins. Now, it's unfortunate for Beagle, but... The good sign, I guess, if you want to call it that for the Ravens, is that Beagle was a borderline roster player. It was unknown if he was going to make that 53-man roster anyway. So this is not a huge loss for the Ravens to see him be gone, but nonetheless, it is uh, disappointing that uh, this goes down and unfortunate for him. As you can see, the depth chart on your screen right now uh, that those spots that the Ravens have there, Calais Campbell leading the way at the DN spot, Adafi Owe at the rush, Patrick Queen at the wide linebacker, Josh Bynes at middle linebacker, and Tyus Bowser at the strong side linebacker there uh, for this Ravens team. And you still wonder when David Ajabo is going to come back. you got Justin Houston, of course, coming in as well. So things are... Pretty good for this group. I think Beagle you can do without, not the end of the world, but unfortunate for him that he'll be missing this season with that Achilles injury. Also on the injury front, Tyler Linderbaum left practice early today with an apparent lower left leg injury. Now, good news from John Harbaugh, the Ravens head coach. He says that Linderbaum will be fine and He's going to be asked a lot to step up on this offensive line this year, leading the way at that starting center spot. And we don't know about Ronnie Stanley when he's going to be able to give it a go. Uh, and so with those questions already there at that offensive line spot with Ronnie Stanley, you have to have Tyler Linderbaum available here. And so I would say when you also factor in that Kyle Hamilton suffered an injury yesterday – on top of everything else that's going on with this Ravens team of just trying to get guys back, whether it's Gus Edwards or J.K. Dobbins or Marlon Humphrey, among others, the concern level ought to be high when it comes to injuries for this Ravens team right now. It, it, it really should. And I hate to say that, but that's the reality of it. Look, things looked like they were headed the right direction, that this team was just starting to get healthy again. And now, here we are, we find ourselves just a week into training camp, and things are starting to stack up again. Not great. So, for me, concerns high with injuries right now. What say you? Like today's video to send those good vibes to the Ravens, and tell me in the comment section, or pin comment today, where your concern level is with the Ravens' injuries and things going forward. Type 1 through 10 in the comment section. Let me know one way or the other. It is our pin comment today. You're about to get an ad break. Take advantage of it. Well, the ad's playing. Let me know. Sound off in that comment section and tell me what your concern level is, 1 through 10, with the Ravens' injuries right now. Odo Beckham Jr. remains a free agent, the top free agent wide receiver on the market. And according to NFL.com's Mark Ross, he says that OBJ would be a perfect fit for the Baltimore Ravens. Pretty fascinating, right? OBJ, of course, coming off a Super Bowl championship with the Los Angeles Rams, but he is also recovering from an injury himself. We'll talk more about OBJ and the idea of bringing him to Baltimore in just one moment. But before we do, today's show is presented by Aura, the all-in-one digital safety company that provides 
near real-time alerts on suspicious credit inquiries. They'll also keep your identity secure with extensive monitoring of your personal information, and they're going to protect your loved ones. You can have up to five people on one Aura account to keep your family's online activities safe from hackers. And whether it's protecting you on the dark web or protecting your credit cards, whatever it may be, Aura's got you covered on all fronts. And here's what we're going to do just for our viewers of the Ravens Rundown. You can start a free 14-day trial now at Aura.com slash chat sports. See if you like it and if it's for you or not. Aura.com slash chat sports for that free 14-day trial now. The all-in-one digital safety company for the whole family. Odell Beckham Jr., he, he's had a very good career at this point. And the, the, the one thing that I would say with OBJ that's been a concern has been the chemistry factor, right? In particular, how things ended with Baker Mayfield in Cleveland. But then the fact that he turned around and helped the Rams win the Super Bowl, I think he kind of silenced those a bit. And here's what Mark Ross had to say about the fit of bringing him to Baltimore. I know that OBJ, uh, that the Rams want him back, but he could be the missing piece in Baltimore. Someone could help Jackson take the next step as a passer, obviously talking about Lamar Jackson. Beckham is recovering from an ACL tear, suffered in the Super Bowl. But with the Ravens boasting an exceptional run game in tight end, Beckham could play a role like he had with the Rams last season. One in which he doesn't have to be the guy, but can contribute as a big play threat who consistently moves the chains. Look, there's a reason to be excited about Rashad Bateman and what Bateman's going to bring to the table as your number one receiver. But beyond that, there's uncertainty when it comes to this wide receiver position for the Ravens. You do not know who is going to be that guy that is going to step up in that position. So we've seen OBJ. He silenced the doubters when he was in Los Angeles this past year. You bring him to Baltimore and be that veteran presence, he obviously still has something left in the tank here based on the way that he finished the season with the Rams, and you give him time for when he's ready. When he's 100% good to go, then you throw him out there and see what he's got at this point. And this far into free agency, he wouldn't cost you that much either. So, yes, I would be all in on bringing OBJ. What say you, though? Here's your chance to be the GM here on the Ravens Rundown. Tell me in the comments section. If the Ravens should sign Odell Beckham Jr., if so, type F, S for sign. If not, type P for pass. Let me know in the comments section. S for sign, P for pass. And if they do sign him, you know who's going to cover it first? The Ravens rundown. Papa Jones, I got you covered right here on the channel. And we're going to be all over it, folks. If they sign OBJ or any receiver for that matter, you'll be the first to know here on the Ravens rundown. Subscribe now, youtube.com slash Ravens TV. Turn on the notifications as well. Join the Noti gang so you're the first to know exactly what's going on with your Baltimore Ravens as we count you down to kickoff here on the channel. So why not sign OBJ, right? I mean, I am all in on the idea of bringing Odell Beckham Jr. to the Baltimore Ravens. And I feel like I'm very fair in saying this because I, I haven't been an OBJ fan. I didn't like the way things went with him and Baker Mayfield in Cleveland, but the way that last year finished, the way that he stepped up for the Rams and the way that he did, I'm sold on Eldale Beckham Jr. right now. Look at his statistics. Yes, he is not the same player that he was a couple of years ago. Nobody is arguing that. When you go back to 2019 and 2018, when he had back-to-back 1,000-yard -back seasons those years, and the health issues that have piled up since, Sure, he's not the player that he once was, but that's not what the Ravens would ask him to be. They would say, Odell Beckham, be that number two, be that number three guy. Put up those type of statistics. That's not too much to ask. And you, when you look at this Ravens receiving core, Rashad's your guy, sure, but Devin, James, Tylen, these guys still have a ways to go. Not saying they're not capable of it, but it doesn't hurt you to throw Odell Beckham in there and at least compete. Push these guys to the limit and see what they got and go to the very edge possible. So that's where I'm at with Odell. Bring him in. Let's see if they can get it done. Perfect fit. I agree. 
with that sentiment that was brought up by NFL.com. Before we go, where's your confidence level with the Baltimore Ravens wide receivers? As things stand right now, I like Rashad Bateman, but still skeptical on the rest of the receiving core. What about you guys? Are you confident these guys are good enough to get it done? Let me know in the comment section. Type Y for yes, type in for no if you are confident in the Ravens wide receiving core. As always, give me a follow on Twitter at Tyler Jones Live, where I'm covering the Baltimore Ravens, talking all things NFL all the time. And we'll see you next time here on the Ravens Rundown.